On Hawaii Island, police have opened an animal cruelty investigation after being notified of a disturbing animal assault case in Honoka'a. Just a warning, some of the details aren't graphic. Now, a cat owner found his cat with trauma and believes someone sexually assaulted his cat. Our Ariel Argel spoke with the cat owner today and has more. For two weeks, Jeremiah Cohen has been searching for his cat, Mochi. When Mochi eventually returned, Cohen noticed something was wrong. She smells strange, she's acting weird, she can't really walk. Cohen says he also noticed trauma to Mochi's reproductive organs, so he took Mochi to Idaho Animal Hospital. The veterinarian report details what Cohen suspected. She examined her for maybe 15, 20, 30 minutes came back out and without blatantly saying it was this, she said there are, is a clear indication of forced trauma, blunt force trauma. The vet's report contained other information supporting the sexual assault of the cat was not made by a dog or any other animal. Sergeant Chris Kim from the Honolulu Pet Crime Stoppers says, while this is a rare case, there are some measures pet owners can take to keep their pets safe. Safeguarding your pets, keeping it you know, within the home or on a proper leash, for instance, if it's a, a, a dog that's going to be chained up outside. Uh, but also we want to encourage people to register their pets, have it microchipped, uh, have a collar on it with some type of identifying tag on it in the event that it gets lost. Kim says sexual assault of an animal is a misdemeanor for the first offense and a Class C felony for for the second or subsequent offense. As for Mochi, Cohen says she is finally eating and walking, but is still facing some issues. He says he plans to take Mochi to the vet again soon for a follow-up visit. Ariel Argel, Island News.